This sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. A modern airliner contains over 300 kilometers of wiring, yet a single cut wire almost never causes a serious problem. In large aircraft, wiring runs everywhere. Wings, fuselage, avionics bays, control surfaces. We're talking thousands of circuits, hundreds of connectors, all carrying critical information. That sounds fragile. It isn't. Aviation wiring isn't built for perfection. It's built for failure. Critical systems are duplicated or triplicated. They're powered separately, and their wiring is routed along completely different physical paths. If one wire fails, another one is already doing the same job. The real safety feature isn't just redundancy, it's separation. Wires for the same system are kept apart, shielded from heat, vibration and damage. One fault is expected. Multiple faults happening together is what the design prevents. So, here's the uncomfortable question. If aircraft are designed assuming things will break, why do people still expect aviation to rely on everything working perfectly? Because planes aren't safe by avoiding failure. They're safe by surviving it.